All right, guys, so what we're going to do here in this video is we are going to uh, improve our hydroponic system. Uh, so we're going to add a auto top off system to it. Uh, it's going to be a pretty easy install. This here I ordered online, I believe it was about $10 American. Um, it worked, it's going to work out great for us, I think. So um, I was over at the uh, shop downtown and I was able to pick up one of these grommets here that go on the down stem of your bong, drilled out the bucket with a three quarter inch uh, spade bit and we put our grommet in there uh, in a five gallon. So we're going to have an additional five gallon reservoir. Uh, so what we're going to do is we've got to do a couple things. So we're going to have to drill a hole in this bucket here. Um, the cool thing about uh, this specific uh, plunger here is you can adjust the screw and it can go up or down. So you have quite a bit of movement of where you want to put it in your bucket. Um, even if you put it a little bit uh, not where you want it, it's not really going to matter because you can adjust it. And this here is kind of like a bulk head fitting. So it goes right through the bucket. It's got a fitting on each side. This is just gonna hold it nice and tight. So uh, we're gonna get started on this and uh, hopefully we can have this installed here in a couple of moments. Let's get at it. put this on through it's gonna fit perfectly I got some Teflon tape and as you guys seen I did this way above the water level where I want the water level to be so I'm not gonna be worried about even when it gets full about it leaking and then also the Teflon tape here is really gonna help with that as well All right, so you see how this kind of works like this. Drop this on through. We're gonna stick the washer on the outside. Okay, so I don't wanna over tighten it because uh, I did order this with try I don't want it to break, <laughs> but it is nice and snug. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh, our line in a bucket. Now, as you can see, this is obviously too big of a hole. I went to the hardware store with a piece of hose um, and I was looking for something that would kind of fit in nice and snug and I found some gas line um, that works perfectly for this. So I'm going to cut this in two and uh, we're going to make a fitting for this hole down here. And I'm trying to get this all the way through which is really tight and that's good because that's what we're looking for. And this here connection is really tight as well. And that's, this is gonna make for a super awesome fit. Now the rest of this is all push fittings. So I'm gonna cut a short piece right here and we're gonna put a shut off valve. All right. So this is supposed to be just as simple as putting this in. And uh, this here isn't really gonna need that much hose. I mean, if we're coming from here, we're only gonna need a piece uh, about this long. So we're not really using that much of this kit at all. So this little piece here kind of threads into the back of this. So anything that we're gonna be threading, we're gonna use some Teflon tape. Alrighty, and we're gonna screw this in nice and good. Nice and tight. Now the next thing that we're going to do, because this here is just this pop that slide this in. You can see it's nice and tight. And I'm gonna slide this back into place. We'll have a better idea of how much exact cord we need. Uh, so I'm gonna cut it right here. Now that that has popped into place, that is it. That is done, guys. So all we gotta do now is fill up our reservoir and see if it works. All right, guys, so we had to wait 24 hours. We did run into a little bit of a snag. We did have a little bit of a leak. So we drained out the bucket. 
we totally cleaned it out really good and then we just put a layer of silicone on the inside and on the layer of the outside um, and that just totally stopped it from leaking so i just did a little test pan here i got maybe about uh, a liter or two of, of water here in the bucket just to make sure that it wasn't going to leak and uh, now we're going to fill it up so i'm going to get that started so you can see she's squirting out here from the side a little bit see if we can't give you a better shot about how she's filling here all well, the valve here maybe if i stick my finger you can see that it is filling so we want to see this fill all the way up for this to come here and shut off her valve all right guys so for one last little look at the system let's give you a little closer of a peek here at what we did so as you can see put the valve the valve floats on uh, what you're hearing probably is the bubbler um, in this bucket here so this here is our bucket and as you can see i have got a actually took teflon tape tied it to a piece of uh, stone uh, this here is just lava rock so it's uh it's not going to uh mess with the water in any way shape or form it's completely inert and uh yeah so this is basically how she all works guys really simply uh this is like the best add-on you could possibly ever add to your hydroponic system so all right guys i would like to thank everyone who's been watching uh, i really appreciate everyone who's uh, been watching along with our builds and our our grows um to appreciate all that so i would like to thank everyone for watching peace